Well, howdy, dude RV. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, today we're in Goliad State Park, Goliad, Texas, one of the most historically significant places in the great state of Texas. Got little red. I got you on the camera. So let's get on the scooter and go for a ride. It's not a great big park, so it won't take us just real long to, to see it all. But it, it's definitely a park that you want to come and visit. All right. Let's cue the music. If you're not familiar with your Texas history, Goliad is where the first shot was fired in the Texas Revolution War with Mexico. Seems that uh, the Texian settlers, a large group of American citizens were encouraged to immigrate to Mexico, Texas, Mexico, Me Mexico held Texas. In exchange for land grants, they became Mexican citizens and Catholics. And we're gonna go down through the, the full connection RV loop first, and I'll continue my history lesson. They have cabins available. If you don't wanna, if you don't have an RV, and you don't wanna sleep in a tent, There is Wi-Fi available up here by the restrooms. Not just a whole lot of RV sites in this park. And most of them are pull-throughs with 50 amps. There's 20 sites on this loop. And there's Miss V, our V. We're going we're gonna to go all the way to the end of the road and that's where I'll close out. Although it uh, looks like I'm going to have to do a premature battery swap. back on the road so we were talking about Texas history now that you've seen the 50 amp pull through sites get a little day use area over here Goliad sits on the King's Road also known as the Old San Antonio Road. King's Highway went from up in Louisiana, northeastern, northwestern Louisiana, uh, all the way down in deep into Mexico. It was a, basically a trail it was used to move goods back and forth. U.S. citizens were enticed to immigrate to Mexico and become Mexicans, Texians, Texicans, uh, and Catholics. In exchange, they would be given land grants uh, and protection from the hostile natives. And part of that protection consisted of giving uh, the folks here in this area, there are two missions, 
uh, a cannon was sent. And when uh, Santa Ana decided to become a dictator and did away with the Mexican Constitution, uh, the Texians had a problem with that. And the Mexican army, Santa Ana, sent the Mexican army up here to get that cannon just to be on the safe side. And the citizens in this area didn't take too kindly to that. That's why you see the flag with the cannon on it that says, come and get it. They just challenged the Mexican army to come and get it. And that is where the first shot of the Texas-Mexican Revolution War was fired. It was over that cannon. And that was here in Goliad. All right, now there's two tent camping areas. I'm not going to go down there because I wouldn't be able to get back up there, up that hill. This is the Vaquero camping. This is water only. There's no power. And there's another one of those up here on the right by the restroom. Now we are in the San Antonio River bottom. And up at the gate, there is a plaque commemorating the high water mark of the flood in 1980, I think it was 83. This is the other tent camping loop down there. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a little better look at that. But we're, we're probably 10 feet below where that marker is right now. And those campsites down there would be another 15, 20 feet down. That water was deep. There's a bird blind over there. Paddling trail parking permitted on the shoulder. This was the takeout for the San Antonio River Paddling Trail. I'm not sure where the put-in for that is. Uh, but I bet it's upstream. Just saying. August 5th, 2020. No, not August. September 5th, Labor Day weekend, 2020. And here we are at the end of the road. There's tent camping and there's RV camping. And I believe this is where you have river access. There's power and water for RV connections. And then there's just primitive tent camping. And there's a group pavilion, which is where we're going to close out the little FPV video. Right here. Man, these are. These scooter runs, I always enjoy them. So much fun. Man, I, I hope y'all enjoyed that little ride as much as I did. I realized there wasn't a whole lot to see. Uh, well, because that's just the way it is at these state parks that I go to. 
but it was a pleasant drive on the scooter hey if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up I appreciate that if this is your first visit to dude RV remember to click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well I post new videos every Sunday morning 10 a.m. Central Time and I know you want to see the next one because I'm going to another state park hey for those of you who have been following along thank you I'm so deeply honored that's why I do what I do y'all come back now you hear